本节目由痛快中国燃的康师傅冰红茶独家冠名播出。I haven't come back for a long time. Is this even the Chao Tian Man that I knew when I was young? It has changed. You haven't returned. Do you know the Chao Tian Man when I was young? It was a wholesale market. Three layers of traffic in the air: airplanes, cable cars, and light rail transit. Three layers of highways on the ground, ferries across the water. Welcome to the eight-dimensional city, Chongqing. Xing Xing is riding his bike among the vehicles on a flyover. The subway that passes through a building brings Yuan Yuan to the place she wants to go. Girls will never ignore any piece of mirror. New Jiao Tuo. Xiao Zhan in the taxi feels relaxed after returning to his hometown. Our three protagonists are traveling at different latitudes. During my internship, I commuted to New Jiao Tuo daily. In the past, when I was squeezing in line three, I always got pushed to the glass door. Then, below me was the, below me was the Jialing River. You would be stuck there. People who are afraid of heights would become dizzy, with legs trembling. But it was really beautiful. I remember what people said. Cheap restaurants and cheap stalls. I'll bring you to eat Chongqing noodles tomorrow morning. You will never forget its taste after tasting it. Do you add a fried egg to Gamlu noodles? Or that's right, Gamlu noodles with a fried egg. I'm drooling. I'll come to fetch you tomorrow morning. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay. They wake up at three in the early morning. They cook noodles at four. They prepare chili oil, guajiao powder, ground peanut, shallot, coriander, and sesame sauce. They wait for the earliest batch of taxi drivers. The owners of noodle shops and their first batch of customers wake Chongqing up. Boss, two tails of noodles. Okay. I want two tails too. Add a fried egg for me. Do you want chili? Less chili. In order to eat the bandang noodles in his memory, Xiao Zhan woke up early in the morning. He comes with driver Zhang when it is still dark. Please make the noodles harder. Please make mine harder too. I'm hungry. The noodles are not bad in the morning. In the morning, we usually have breakfast here. What time does the shop normally open? Normally around three o'clock. They are open at three. They are open until half past two in the afternoon. That's still a lot of work. Noodles are here. Thank you. At first, Chongqing noodles were for poor people who couldn't afford meat. A tasty feast made by sauces. Tables and chairs are benches. A BMW owner and a tricycle rider sit together. This is a scene of Chongqing streets that hasn't changed for decades. Mainly, I feel that this taste is not only a kind of taste. To an old Chongqing resident, it can be a kind of memory sometimes, a kind of reminiscence. You don't know. I was eating noodles here that morning. I saw two people from another district who came to Chongqing for the first time. They ate mala noodles. The noodles were too spicy for them. Look, my tears are coming out now. They were just like you are now. They couldn't take it. Like they shouted, "Ouch! Why is it so hot?" Tears were falling from their eyes. Like that, I asked, "Are you so sad after eating the noodles?" Yuan Yuan, 23 years old, is a young worker in the old cross dock industry. She's a veteran in Yuancheng Society, a local Chinese folk art troupe in Chongqing. She performs in Yanjiu Bookstore near the Liberation Monument. The cafe is her makeup room. The emergency exit is her practice room, and any table becomes her stage. Let's applaud song of a friendly Yuan Yuan and Yuzhen Hao. Yuan Yuan is a rare cross-dock actress. Girls are not good at expressing the unfailing vulgar puns in traditional cross-dock. This pushes her to look for a better way to perform. The host said it just now. Previously, only men were performing. Yes. Now it's different. Why? Two girls are performing for you here today. We are naughty.
What are you doing? Did you take it seriously? Two girls can't do this. Yuan Yuan is from Sichuan, which is in a love-hate relationship with Chongqing. She is very welcomed by Chongqing people. Singing, talking, imitating, or joking, come on. Talking, imitating, joking, singing. Great. Aren't you clapping? Each place has its own dialect. I think that's nonsense. Long-standing Chongqing dialect crosstalk. But it only became famous in TikTok one or two years ago. When Yuanxing society performed, there were often more actors than people in the audience. Now, they finally have their first group of fans. Their work not only includes taking photos, to let her cheek be pinched becomes part of Yuan Yuan's work too. I want to play Allegro Clapper there again. Even after the audience left, the actors don't want to end their performance. The team is discussing enthusiastically while they're walking. Her partner, Yu Zheng Hao, said he wanted to play Allegro Clapper in the street near the Liberation Monument. I'll give him 0 0.2 yuan, 0 0.2 yuan, here. Remember to pick it up. Can you see the strange gaze on the young man behind? He's giving an unusual look. He's ready to catch him, ready to catch him anytime. Look, he's coming. Put a bowl here. I'll offer you money. Go away. Only 20-year-old men have this passion. There's never an end to his performance because the dream is part of his life. Roads in Chongqing have uphills and downhills. Motorbikes are the most convenient mode of transportation here. In its pride, half of the country's motorbikes were made in Chongqing. It was in the lead in Southeast Asia. Thus Chongqing is also known as the city of motorbikes. Xing Xing, a bike lover, likes to drive up South Mountain with old friends most. Xing Xing imagines himself to be a wanderer who explores everywhere, but his daily life is actually like this. Xing Xing, who looks rough and domineering, is actually a typical Chongqing guy who is afraid of his wife. I can say that I've never combed someone else's hair in my life. His status in his family is a steward. Seriously, look at my bald head. Do I need to comb? Oh my god, it's oversteamed. Leon Xiao Kui, I'm sorry. I oversteamed your water chestnut cake. No. See which one you want to eat. Hurry and eat. Why? Annoying. Why are you eating like this? You took two bites and left them there. Just eat. I'll eat them after you're done. My breakfast every day depends on what you've eaten. Bye. Come here. Don't run. Give me a kiss. No. Xing Xing, 43 years old, once studied in Paris. Now he's the boss of an advertisement company. This is oil for my beard. People used to say, the man without a beard can't do things well. And I hoped, if you have a beard, you might look more trustworthy. Now my beard is all over my face. It's so troublesome. I need to take care of it every day or else my beard would get dirty. I feel that I won't be able to go out and meet people. Don't be cheated by Xing Xing's rough appearance. Actually, he's an elegant rough guy. On his balcony, Xing Xing, old Chongqing resident, witnesses the growth of new Chongqing. Kixing Gang is incorrect. Instead, say Qixing Gang. In order to prepare for their final performance at the year end, Yuan Yuan and Yu Hao come to the old town to look for old stories about Chongqing. Tan Yu and Lu. I think they made that later. We are going to Chiki Gate, right? So, the five towns in Old Chongqing were from Yuzhong District. It's like the shape of a mouth. Why don't you play your Allegro Clapper here? Take a photo and play your Allegro Clapper. Hardworking Yu Hao starts to play Allegro Clapper again. I finally see Yuan Yuan. But Yuan Yuan is the one who meets her fan. What a life. So cute that you're really cute. Don't. I came to visit these landmarks, to have a look at these city walls, and look for some historical stories, and write my script. Why is here a fan? I didn't do my makeup today. Nine stars and eight trigrams inspired Chongqing's nine open and eight closed gates. Is the golden purple gate still here? Now, many city gates have been demolished. 
yet the 8 trigrams maze has become a feature of this city. Don't frighten it. There's one in front of the golden purple gate. Asking for directions is a must in this mountain city. Because Chongqing is a city that will make navigation systems cry. Usually when the navigation system says you've arrived, you're actually three floors away from your destination. Is there an alley here? There is. Is there? Go inside. In the maze of this mountain city, there are many tunnels like wormholes that link different latitudes. My arms and legs. Any unremarkable entrance can bring you to a different height. Let's ask. Their last stop is Chao Tianmen Dock. Are you okay? Suddenly, they see a rare scene in Chongqing's winter. Golden sunlight appears in the sky. When people from other districts come to Chongqing, they mostly visit the wonders in Chongqing. Like those ups and downs, you can't see them outside of Chongqing. But actually, when you're in Chongqing, you don't see most of them. Whether it's a performance or a landmark. There were Chuanjiang chants. They are rare. So I used to complain about this city where I live. I said that Chongqing was like a shell. What we are doing now is to give it a soul. You praise yourself suddenly. What we are doing now is to give this shell a soul. Chao Tianmen is the biggest dock in Chongqing's history. It looks like a huge boat that sails through winds and waves. In the past few hundred years, when people from other districts traveling upstream saw the marvelous Chao Tianmen after a long journey, they knew that they had reached a huge dock. They knew that a bigger stage was waiting for them. The old town meets the new town here. It feels strange. During my summer holiday, I came here to study art. I stayed at the Sichuan Fine Arts Institute. This is the back street. It's been a long time. It's been many years since I came here. People said the Sichuan Fine Arts Institute was about to be demolished and they would move to University Town. It's quite sad, actually. Jiaodong Tea House, Jiaodong Tea House is still here. This used to be a cyber cafe. I used to surf the internet here. Time flies. Whose trotter soup is really nice. I would eat it whenever I came, they still have a queue now. I was in a studio up there. Fuxing building. There are up to 100 studios. Inside there. Very scary. The street looks the same. Yang Xiaozhan. Coming to Huang Juping was like entering the place where his dream began. Xing Xing only goes to Brother Qi in Mayabiliang Duduku when he needs to fix his bike. Brother Qi. Are you fixing a police bike? Not bad. Your place has become a special repair spot. This is also a meeting place for them, the riders. There's still noise when I turn right. Is there a sound when you brake? There's a sound when I brake, but it's not so annoying. It does look good after you installed this. They look like toys in your hands. Brother Chi can find out the problem of the bike just by hearing its sound. He's one of the best mechanics for local police bikes. It looks nice. Xing Xing sees a bike that is the same model as his. He feels excited as if he sees a hero like himself. Two Euro bikes. A reunion of two brothers. So comfortable. He changed the handle. He changed it into an old handle. Great. He even changed the speaker. This is also hedonism. Brother Chi was an electrician in Sisk. He began to play with bikes in the 1980s. He's also a senior who Xing Xing admires. I can say that apart from you, I don't know who else to seek. The repair shop that hasn't changed for decades is like a time tunnel in the city. Xing Xing likes to come here because he can recollect his childhood memories here. I stepped on the brake a few times, no problem. Let's improve the pad. I'll fix it later. When are you coming? This repair shop used to be a supply store for Sisk in the 1970s. The building is older than Xing Xing. Let me have a sip of your tea. Your tea is really... 
Your tea is what I come to drink. Repairing the bike is secondary to drink Brother Chi's tea, and chat with him is Xing Xing's main purpose here. Your tea reminds me of my childhood. The workers in my father's factory used to drink compressed tea. It feels good. There are many time tunnels reminiscent of old Chongqing. They are distributed in the mountain city. For example, Brother Jun's bookstore on Sanjiao Road. This railway was used for trains to turn around, but it's an outdoor cinema on weekends now. Brother Jun's bookstore has some kind of magic. Cats and dogs nearby like to come to play here and don't want to go home. So, there are three cats and three dogs staying here. When the neighbors walk by at night, they would bring some food to feed them. You can't differentiate between customers and Brother June's friends here. They don't want to leave even when it's time to eat because they can eat the noodles cooked by Brother June. In the evening, Xiao Zhan comes to Brother Jun's bookstore. Hello. This place is so wonderful. You might be familiar with those house number signs. There are Xia Shuichi, Huang Juping, Shibati. So, you collected all of these? Yes, it's both the name of a place and a witness of Chongqing's history. Look at this, you must know this very well. Chongqing language. Birdie. Dragonfly. You're welcome. We always begin with, you're welcome. When we speak, yes, you're welcome. Later, we realize that Chongqing language they are holding now is written by Xing Xing. People who like to explore the memory of this city will eventually encounter. Have a seat outside. Okay. Here. Have some black tea. Handsome guy. You look familiar. Familiar? You look familiar, but I can't recognize he you. He thought he might know you. I think you look familiar. I have a normal face. Do you live nearby? No, but it's quite near. This place is close to where I used to work. But I didn't know this place. I knew this place after opening the bookstore. Have a seat. I'm going back. I think everyone feels free here. They are very kind. They even feed the dogs. They would bring food for the dogs, because they are all stray dogs. They live nearby. How long have you left Chongqing? About five years. The first thing when you're back, have you eaten the hot pot? I ate it yesterday, and I had diarrhea. <laughs> you should drink some mine tea. I still have diarrhea now, I even have a sty. When I woke up this morning, it was so bad. Have you eaten noodles? Yes, this morning. I think Chongqing noodles are really good. I think this place is like, when I was young, of course it was not here. Like where I lived when I was young. The houses were like that too. Like those cottages. Also, at night, people would gather in a place too. Then, they would chat. Kids would play around. We used to play nearby when we were young. Then, our parents would chat, play card games, or drink tea. Your parents were like us back then, right? Like now. How old are you? Now, I'm 28. I'm no longer young either. Among us, you're still young. Have a seat. Brother Jun's friend Xiang Xiang comes to give him a book. Thank you. Both of them are prominent figures among Chongqing's history and geography hobbyists. Give me a bottle of Tianfu Cola. You also want Tianfu Cola every time, right? The Tianfu Cola filled with childhood memories once disappeared. It has returned only in recent years. Barbecue brazier? Okay, okay. I'll set it up immediately. Let me help you. I remember we used to light up a fire outside too. Then, we grilled sweet potatoes. The fire smells nice. You're welcome. Brother June, are you here every day? Mostly here. He's mostly here. I think this is good. It feels like... You've come back? Yes. I've got... Familiar people around me. Feels like our generation the 1970s or 1980s. Yes. Be careful of your hands. I know. This cat is so nice. This is a stray cat too. Mimi. 
It's happy now. It starts to fall asleep. It's happy. Are you happy, Mimi? When you were staying in Yudong, what were you most interested in? Actually, we stayed near the river. For example, after we finished our classes, we would play and swim in the river. There was a dugout. We played around there too. I remember that the dugout, when I was young, was the place where people nowadays go to cool off. Whenever I passed by the dugout, the wind was. It was piercingly cold. The dugout in Yuzhong district consisted of hospitals, schools, and factories. In 1943, there were only 420,000 people in Chongqing, but the capacity of the dugout was 445,000 people. Overall, it was like an underground city. A lot of people don't know that we liked to go into the dugout when we were young. It sounds so good, that feeling. It feels like the underground city and warrior. And the stories within. If you're interested, we can visit it tomorrow. Okay, okay. I stayed in other places for 10 years, whenever there was a festival. The movie being played in the outdoor cinema tonight is an Italian movie, Life is Beautiful. This movie is about paternal love. Yes. yes. So touching I. I can't really remember what it says. But it's... I remember that he's doing it for his daughter. Do you think your father has more influence on you, or your mother has more influence on you? My father has influenced me more. My dad has influenced me more. My father has influenced me more too. Sometimes, a father's love for a child isn't as well expressed as a mother's love for a child. He sort of hides it, but it's more like a love, communicated from heart to heart. You're right, from heart to heart. Like my father, he always treats me. In my memory, since childhood, I don't think my father has expressed himself explicitly, like saying I miss you or I love you. No. Only my mother would say them. But I can always feel that my father cares about me with his actions. For example, when I was attending the university, he would check on my living expenses. Normally, the father would bring it up first, right? I asked him if his allowance was enough. Like I did with my kid. My mother would ask, you spent them all again? My father would say, just give it to him. The father is more generous. Chongqing men are well known for being scared of their wives. Yet Chongqing men are proud of themselves. Because being scared of their wives means that they love their wives and children. A representative of those who are scared of their wives, Xing Xing, appears among the men and women who are waiting for their kids. Louder. 99. 90. Wow, it'd be best if you can score 100 marks 10 or 20 times. The questions were easy. The more often you score 100 marks, the happier I am. D. Underneath. Seabed. Poles. Railings. Lawn gone means railings. It doesn't mean a blue pole. Three, four, five, six. What a mess. Why are the questions like these? All nonsense. How can you count the people in each house? The happy moment doesn't last long when he's tutoring his daughter. Xing Xing gets angry quickly because of the confusing questions. Mommy, I don't understand what Daddy is explaining. Okay. You should answer how many more houses there are. You can't answer how many more people. This tricky situation can only be handled by the mother. They are asking for the total number of people. How are they asking for the total number of people? Then I would ask you how many people there are in a house. Read the question carefully. Did they tell you how many people there are in a house? You can estimate. It's not about estimation. You're teaching a kid now. Now, can we launch a rocket just by estimation? Can we simply assign a number? Go out. Xing Xing, who was kicked out by his wife, comes to see his beloved collection. This is an old gramophone. Look at this. This was made in Japan. It's really old. It's older than me. It's an old Columbia. Probably influenced by Chongqing's anti-Japanese history, Xing Xing is a military enthusiast. He's collected many old items from the Second World War. This hole isn't very good. It's in. I'll place it there. And wind it up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. That's why I had to count. I counted. Because it's an old winder. It's too old. This decades-old record can still play American pop songs in the Second World War. This sound is about a hundred years old, at least a few decades old. I guess the singer has already passed away. I like this most in my collection. You can start filming when it starts moving. You can see from here. This is a video editor. It's like Premiere that we use now. There is a very old spy camera. Spy camera. When I saw this device, I felt that it was so pretty. I always think that there is a principle when I collect this kind of thing. I'm not the owner of these machines. I'm only their custodian. In the future, they might be passed on to another person. When it's passed on to another person, it's remarkable if this can be passed on. Intelligence produced them, no matter what it is for. It sounds so good. Sometimes, when I'm alone, I would put these things out on the floor. Look at them slowly. Something like, have you watched The Lord of the Rings? It feels like when a goblin sees the ring. Back then, my expression might have been a bit greedy. Old items are passed down by their guardians. Just like how the soul of a big city is preserved through the memories of ordinary people. During a winter afternoon, Yuan Yuan and Yu Zhenghao brought their costumes and rode the subway for a long time to their performance location. The troupe is busiest right before the new year. There are multiple company performances every week. Yuan Yuan almost lost her voice. Seeing Yuan Yuan feeling down, Yu Zhenghao took out a golden hoop to cheer her up. Back then, you put it on. How did the line go? You are my son now. Is that how the line went? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're here to perform a crosstalk segment, but we're not just here to talk. We'll make introductions. Right, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Li Yuan Yuan. This is my partner. Chongqing's infrastructure is really good now. Performing at the year-end banquets is entirely different from that at the theater. The performers on stage carry on with the show, while the audience networks amongst themselves. This is a challenge every new performer needs to go through. This is also the cost Yuan Yuan needs to pay, after pursuing her dream as her career. I already set up the joke for you. I thought you were going to say another part. My throat is so dry. I heard you, and I kept setting up jokes, but you didn't catch on. Even though nobody watched the performance, the two young people still seriously reflected after. After the performance finished, Yuan Yuan took the subway home. Her tiredness showed through after changing out of her costume. The majority of people riding the light rail are locals like Yuan Yuan who work late. Xiao Zhan used to be one of them too. The night view is really beautiful here. The glittering night view is built by normal people like her who are working hard for themselves. The average person creates the magnificence of a city. She fell asleep on her bed without even taking her shoes off. She has another live stream at night. This is part of her daily work. After work, Yuan Yuan still needs to go on stage and conduct a live stream. She needs to put in double the effort for her dreams. She tiredly drags over her phone stand and begins the live stream. Welcome everyone, Yuan Yuan's broadcast is starting. Thank you. Chengdu, the name is too long. Where do we perform normally? On Fridays, we're usually at Shapingba. 
Keep singing. Move your face back a bit. You scared me. Yuzhen Hao comes onto the broadcast and the partners start fighting together again, without knowing it. Yuan Yuan finds her stage energy again. The event planner put you two in the Mahjong room, so you're playing Mahjong, right? And then you win with the same suit. In her hometown, Yuan Yuan's classmates have already started getting married and having children. But in Chongqing, the large city, young people like her have just gotten to the starting line. Experiencing bitterness and sweetness at the same time. The feeling of failure is real. Inspiration is also true. Yuan Yuan, who believes that Chongqing is pushing her to grow up, is young just like the city. The space inside, it has three floors? Yes! It's so magical. You have to go up and down the stairs even underground. We'll get to see the stairs soon. Xiang Xiang came right on time to guide Xiao Zhan around the underground of Chongqing. Their first stop is the bomb shelter in Nanan Huangshan. Everyone knows that Chongqing exists above ground, but underneath, there's another hidden world. Even if we wanted to develop it, it's better to do so. Section by section. All right, let's start our underground journey. Okay, we need a flashlight too. I'm a little nervous. I'll walk in front. Are there no lights inside? No. It's very warm inside during the winter though. In the summer, it's very cool. We're really going in like this? You can see that it's still in the original state. This is so magnificent. Even though I've lived in Chongqing for many years, I still know very little about the bomb shelters, the military command center. We can go inside to have a look. This is the old command center. Back then, they would hold very important military conferences here. Look at this wall. This patch right here is very interesting. It's actually separated into multiple layers. Touch it. It feels like foam. Even if you're getting bombed and the shelter is about to collapse, you can't hear anything or feel any shock in here. And the shelter is connected with exits on both sides. Even if something happens on one end, you can still leave the other way. Right. I didn't know this at all. Be careful. Doesn't it feel like we were in an otherworldly place? There must be a lot of other entrances like this one. Holes like this all over the mountains. Actually, we can take a look. That used to be an old command center. Then they modified it into. Where is this? This used to be Chao Tianmen, but it doesn't exist anymore. And a lot of other places like the Liberation Monument, Chao Tianmen, and the underground malls are all in here. You mean? Do you recognize it now? You mean the underground malls used to be bomb shelters? Chongqing might be the city that utilizes the underground the most. There are hundreds of thousands of people who walk through the network of bomb shelters every day without knowing it. We spend half of our time underground, in the underground walkways, malls, and even bookstores. There are even underground bookstores. Are these all old bomb shelters? Right. A lot of places we pass through are underground. Do you remember? You've been here? I've been here numerous times. I had never thought it was a bomb shelter. That's right. Back then, this already exists. A lot of places were connected together, but most of them are blocked now. That is so interesting. We're also right under a flight path, so it feels like we're having a time journey. Right. It feels like bombs are going to drop down. There were often bats that flew out when we used to come in here. I remember when I was little, there were also lots of bats in the abandoned shelters in the wild. We would throw a lit match inside and they would all fly out. You were very brave back then. At that time we were everyone thinks Chongqing is magical. I feel it's not just magical above ground, but also underground. That's right. When speaking of Chongqing, the 3D city, we think it's very magical referring to what's above the ground. But I feel like the underground is even more interesting than above. Back then? This was the common scenario with the bomb shelters. The alarm would go off and everyone would immediately run to a bomb shelter. Everyone in the city was running. When I visited some seniors, they told me that they don't think the experience in the bomb shelters was difficult. They said that every time the alarms went off, they were really excited. I asked them why they were excited about getting bombed, and one of them said that there was a girl he liked in another class who would run with him. That reminds me of when I was in school. I used to find happiness out of pain during our morning exercises. 
I feel like Chongqing people's personalities were affected by that too. Which way should we go? Over there. Right over there. It feels like there are two shelters and we're going to get lost. Right. It should be over here. We finally saw one. A big rat and a flying rat. There used to be a vent up there, but now it's blocked. You can do this. Don't scare it. It's going to fall down. Let's go. Let's go now. It's okay. It ran away. I was so scared. For Chongqing residents born after the 1970s and 80s, bomb shelters saved their grandparents during air raids. The traces of their parents' building infrastructure and the playground to test one's courage with their childhood friends. The bomb shelters connect the memories of multiple generations in Chongqing. Wine cellars, tea houses, furniture malls, subway tunnels, gas stations, and hot pot restaurants. The old stations of World War II have been reinvented to fit perfectly into modern day life. That's why the elders often say, there's no Chongqing without the underground. When you stand on the busiest street in Chongqing, you might be standing at the entrance to a palace. After touring the shelter, they came to eat Dongzi carp. You can't even find this in other towns. The oil looks delightful. It's so red. This fish looks delicious. Awesome! Did you grow up in one of the residential compounds? Or factory compounds? I grew up in a factory compound. That was common back then in Chongqing. When you talk to people, you'll find that because Chongqing is an industrial city and a military industrial city, a lot of people grew up in the factory compounds. I knew all my neighbors. My parents knew everyone around us. Well, Chongqing's double broth hot pot. On fire like your soul. You're crazy. Double broth hot pots in other cities resemble the yin and yang symbol. But in Chongqing, the clear broth is in a small round in the center showing how clear broth has been neglected in its lifetime. Okay. We should do this. Let's have a toast. The season's finale is approaching. Yuan Yuan invited her close friend and her partner to relax and have hot pot. I didn't follow in time. Keep up with the beat. We haven't dined together for almost three years, two at the least. That long? I don't think it's been that long. I feel like we saw each other last time at the hospital. You were getting your spine checked out. I think you had something growing there back then. You said your back wasn't feeling good. You even got an x-ray. Right, that time. And then they said you were just overweight. Even though the friends haven't seen each other for more than one year, they still understand each other so thoroughly. I drove you guys in the middle of the night. Do you still remember what you wrote? On our application for the Crosstalk program? I wrote I wanted to be famous. I forget what I wrote for the application. You also wrote that you wanted to prove that women could also perform cross -talk. You said you wanted to prove women could do it too, and that you wanted your mom. You wanted your mom. You wanted her approval. Families usually aren't so strict with boys. How did you convince your parents? Even now, my mom hasn't really said that she approves. She nags me a lot and wants me back. Well, not a lot, but occasionally. It doesn't happen often. My mom doesn't want to scold me. So she tries to ask me, in a roundabout way. She'll ask me when I'm coming home. Yuan Yuan's mom wants her to be a teacher. Yuan Yuan asked her to wait for three years. I feel like I'm really cold-blooded. Only when she got more popular on TikTok last year did her performance dreams become more realistic. I've always listened to my mom since I was little. She wanted me to get into the advanced class, and I tested in. I got into number two middle school as she wanted. She wanted me to get into me on high school, and I did. She wanted me to get into a normal university, and I applied six of them. I didn't even apply to the colleges I wanted. 
They suggested I apply to a regular university, later on, I felt like I didn't have to listen to my mom anymore, and could do what I wanted to do. I didn't have to listen to my mom. I can't stop crying after we drink. So annoying. Can't you read how I'm feeling? I really want to cry after I drink. Everyone really likes me. You have to nod. I have a really good temper and personality. I can't say anything since you already start laughing now. My temper is good and so is my personality. I know how to take care of others. I'm one of the best people in the world. XIN, you have to nod. Camera, you have to nod. The camera has to nod too. If you weren't so expensive, I would smash you. Yuan Yuan performs at the Liberation Monument. Nearby is the Chao Tian Men Dock, shaped like a large ship. The city that braves the wind and waves gave this girl from out of town unlimited possibilities and infinite hope. Liang Xiaokui, do you know where we're going? I know. Where? Liang Xiaokui, do you know that this is where your grandpa lived? Xing Xing's family will visit the Chongqing Iron and Steel Company Industrial Museum on the weekend. Your mom's grandpa also lived here. My grandpa also worked here. Xing Xing and his wife are both children of the company's old workers. They might have even taken a bath together in the bathhouse when they were young. This used to be the most prosperous area. What does prosperous mean? It means really hopping. After work, there were people selling steamed buns, fried dough sticks, other food, and everyone bought their groceries here. The butcher and shops were all here. Liang Xiaokui, your dad, and I used to come down here to shower. I might have even bumped into your mom when we took baths back then. Over here, look at the tall building. Didn't you meet each other until work? We did meet at work. But when we were little... Didn't your families meet? Yes, we learned that later. We found out later that when we were little, we might have been in the same. My grandpa and yours were good friends. Anyway, we met each other later. A bit later. If we met each other earlier... We met each other later on. You might not be here today if you did. Right. I might be calling him my brother now. Right. The Industrial Museum, this is where the Iron and Steel Company was. Liang Xiaokui, when we were little, we would look at the white smoke coming out of the chimney. They said that if the steel was made well, then your luck would go awa. Your mom is telling you nonsense. You have to listen to me instead. What do trains mainly transport? Coal. Look, there's a statue of a worker standing there, wearing a hat like mine. We used the hat to avoid the heat in case it burned our back. He's wearing glasses, but they're sunglasses. The molten steel was really bright and could hurt our eyes. Look at what he's blowing. He's blowing up a chicken thigh. A chicken thigh. He's blowing glass. Come and look, let me ask you, who uses this machine in our family? Your grandma. Your grandparents both know how to use this machine. I don't want to look anymore. It's okay if you don't want to see the guns, but I'll cry if you don't want to look at the motorcycles. I already told you I don't like it. We used to use all of these things. This is the accordion I had when I was young. It looks just like it. Xing Xing, look it's the accordion we used to have. We had all of these. We really had all of these things. Liang Xiaokui, let me show you something that's related to food. Come look, you like to drink Coke. You like Coke, right? When we were little, we didn't have Coca-Cola or Pepsi. We only had Tianfu Cola. Tianfu Cola is made in Chongqing. This is like a time machine. I rode this when I was your age. It hangs above the river and goes over the coast. You've never ridden one. I'll take you to ride the cable car one day. Look at the train out there. That was made by the grandpas. The grandpas were really skilled.
You really can't use one word to describe this city. If I have to pick one, I think it's a complicated city. I won't use internet famous to describe this city. That's not a comprehensive word, not enough. I think Chongqing is a city that really has its own core and heart. For me, there isn't anything that's very, very special about coming back. It's more feeling relaxed at home. I like all the people here. I think they are very genuine and have their own special characteristics. They're very bold and honest. During his last night in Chongqing, Xiao Zhan went to ride the Yangtze River Cableway, looking down below. The old neighborhoods and new buildings are magically condensed into the same space. Behind the internet famous city is the richness of its culture and its stubborn but genuine spirit. I joined a theater troupe during my freshman year of college and mistakenly started performing crosstalk. After I stood on stage for the first time, I felt like I wanted to keep performing. I was born for this stage. During the season's last performance, Yuan Yuan and her troupe started singing the Song of the City Gates. I've lived in Chongqing for four and a half years. This city is full of passion. Even strangers are very enthusiastic and outgoing. Everyone is like family, and so I really want to stay in Chongqing. We will see you next year. To a certain degree, I'm more willing to accept the changes in this city. But while accepting, I can also hold on to some things. I don't have lofty goals or dreams. I came from this city, and I want to stay here. All of the ways of life that I know are acceptable here. There are a lot of things I could say, but it all boils down to, I'm happy. Everywhere I go, I'm very happy to say that I'm from Chongqing. Xing Xing and his friends are going to another time capsule they've collected, an underground tea house. If you say we're a bunch of pugilist wanderers, I'm willing to accept that. That makes me happy, because I love this city. The public might think of me as someone who looks quiet and shy, but inside, I have a very strong Chongqing personality. I'm actually very fiery. If I hear someone say that Chongqing is bad, or complain about Chongqing to me, I will angrily tell them that Chongqing is a great city. Chongqing is a complicated city. It has a punk and futuristic vibe. You can see the buildings that have sprung up by the mountains, the crisscrossing bridges, and the railways rising up from the ground, running between buildings. You'll feel that this city is so magical, but turning at the corner, you'll see people chatting and playing mahjong and cards, the children running around laughing. It's just simple. You'll also see young people who are sweating and drinking with their shirts off, eating spicy crayfish and hot pot, yelling and playing drinking games, and all that fiery and passionate environment. Mr. Lu, a son-in-law of Chongqing, won over the locals with his authentic hot pot cooking skills. The new year is almost here and Brother Jun gifts his neighbors with Chinese couplets. In these ever-changing times, he's stubbornly keeping alive the warmth and traditions of the old neighborhoods. Si Mao, who studied abroad in France, runs a snack shop in the hundred-year-old Shancheng Alley. Lu Fu Gui, come back here. Lu Fu Gui. Landscape photographer Zhang Kuen Kuen is like a lone wolf, appearing in and out of Chongqing's highest sights. In Chongqing, we met a lot of interesting people. They walk the hilly roads every day. Sometimes standing high on the mountain top, and sometimes deep in the valley. But everyone deeply loves this city. Just like how we learn to love our lives our challenges, and our pain. We'll climb over the stone staircases, walk through the underground shelters, and embrace life with our passionate hearts. I caught this yellow crocodile in all shaman. I caught it with one hand. Amy, don't eat the dirt.
Find more behind the scenes at Cena Entertainment.